This is Keith Clawherty. He grew up in the United States, around Boston, graduated from Tufts University with a bachelor's in fine arts, and about a year and a couple months ago, he inquired into GCAS College Dublin. Keith spent the last six and a half years of his life tending to and taking care of his auntie. You like some coffee, auntie sister? Absolutely, I love that, yeah, good. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, That culture goes back to Ireland? Yes, it does. <laughs> Our house is just like this. <laughs> but not architecturally, right? Oh, no. Just the inside? Just the inside. Beautiful home. Oh, well, what style is this house built in? This is, I think this is a Dutch colonial. A oh, Dutch I colonial? Know, I know it is. Dutch colonial. But this is this was an English colony. What are they doing with a Dutch colonial here in an English colony? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> During the time he lived in the house with his auntie, he discovered a lot of things about his past and started asking questions about the basic aspects of the house in which his auntie had lived, in which his family had lived since the early 20th century. Keith started asking some very basic questions about what made the household possible? Simple questions like, where did the heat come from? Or where did the electricity come from? Um, the cultural implications of that, the environmental implications of day-to-day -day existence. By pursuing these very basic questions, Keith started to unfold a narrative, a very powerful story that shaped and formed his family, his identity, and the identity of those around him. The house that she lived in, that I lived in with her, kind of became a case study for looking at our own kind of cultural trajectory, which is from Ireland. As these questions were shaped and reshaped into more rigorous analytic terms, explanatory terms, he approached GCAS College Dublin about a year and a half ago and started to pursue a research degree. After a year of writing his master's thesis, he presented his findings to the GCAS College community.